Good morning. It is a cold but beautiful day. No clouds at all. The sun is shining. I think it's about 15 degrees out today. So in order to build this deck, I brought in a bunch more fill dirt into this area out here into our driveway too. And come springtime, that's going to be a huge problem. It's going to turn into an absolute mud pit. We want to get some gravel and get this all covered up, but there is no way that a full-size dump truck's getting up here. Luckily, we have a backup plan. Door latch. Bam. Okay, now we get to play the game of will it start. It's been a while since I fired this thing up and it is cold this morning. It doesn't have any kind of block heater. There's no intake grid heater. There's no glow plugs. It's just cold start diesel. It does have an ether injection system that I'm pretty apprehensive to use, so I don't use it. I also don't have any ether for it. Battery's got charge. First good start. Let's see. Fire to fire. This is definitely a little bit risky. There is still a little bit of snow and ice on our very steep road. We have no idea what the Army truck's capability is not chained up. So we're about to find out what happens, but if we can pull this off, this will be huge. Plus, it's been a while since we've taken this thing for a spin, so I'm pretty excited. Ready to go? I forget how much fun it is to drive this truck. Some of you have asked if we still own the dozer, and yes, we absolutely do. She's just been parked out of the way over here for now. It weighs, it weighs less than the data plate says it weighs, oh. even with us in it. That means we get to carry more, right? Oh, 17,480. Our load is about to get a lot heavier. Oh gosh, here he comes. Oh, it's kind of terrifying when you sit in the cab. That wheel loader makes our M1078 look like a toy truck. Okay, here he goes. He's gonna, he's gonna load it up. We're gonna drive back on the main road and we'll check back in with you when we make it to our hill. Okay, Riley put it in four wheel drive and we are headed up our hill. I'm nervous. I told Courtney, worst case if we slide, we could always just dump the gravel out, you know, and have gravel somewhere else. And she's like, yeah, but what about the sliding? <laughs> Okay, here we go. There's a squirrel. <laughs> Don't run the squirrel over. I wish there was a better way for us to quantify exactly how steep this stuff is. We made it. No problem. Nice job. That is so incredible that we can haul our own gravel even when there's snow on the road. I'm pretty impressed with what that truck just did. It's got a maximum capacity of 5,000 pounds according to the data plate. We just hauled 8,000 pounds in four wheel drive up a steep mountain road covered in ice. I think that today is gonna be mostly running gravel. We're hoping to get maybe three or four loads up here. I think it'd be really nice to get this whole area covered in gravel that's going to turn to sloppy mud this spring. And we'll see how much gravel we can get up here. All right, let's do it. Stay tuned. And he's back. It 
For those of you that are new to this channel, this behind me is an M1078. It's a 1994 manufactured by Stuart and Stevenson. It's the replacement to the Deuce and a Half, so it's a military two and a half ton cargo truck that Courtney and I bought private party off Craigslist and then we actually converted it ourselves into a dump truck. And we have a few videos of building this dump truck on our YouTube channels. It was a really fun project and honestly, we've gotten way more use out of this truck than I ever expected us to. Good morning. It is freezing cold today. The sun is out, but this is the coldest I've been in a long time. Today we're gonna switch gears and keep working on the deck and start getting some joists in. This is about to be a really big transformation, so let's get to it. I pre-stained as many joists as I've had time to. I think I probably have about half of them stained, so I'm also gonna kinda have to be staining them as we put them up today. But we'll start with the ones that have already been stained. So we can just set it down and you can lift it up yeah, when I cut good. it. 144 and a half. All right, so this joist here that runs from that post to this post is gonna get through bolted into this post. Once we get all these critical joists set, then we'll start setting the joists every 16 inches off of each one of these. Everything's coming together exactly as I planned and I'm really starting to be able to visualize what the finished product's gonna look like. This is getting exciting. I didn't wanna to have to tear the siding off the building and install a ledger board like you would traditionally when building a deck. So instead we're building our deck to be entirely self-supporting. It doesn't rely on our building at all for structure. Also our building was never designed on these posts with these footings to hold both the load of the deck, the load of the roof and the load of the apartment. So it's a lot better that we have our, our deck being self-standing. Eventually this ledger board is probably gonna end up attached to the building just to help keep the two together so that the deck doesn't wiggle independently of the building, but it's not gonna be load bearing. <laughs> Courtney the marshmallow woman is going to stain. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut each one to length. Courtney the marshmallow woman's gonna stain each one and we're gonna take them immediately from stain and hang them. That way we don't have to handle them multiple times. And that way, maybe we can get all of the joists up today, which would be so exciting. We'd like to thank Bright Sellers for sponsoring this video. After college, Courtney and I moved to Paso Robles, California, and we had no idea at the time that Paso Robles has over 200 wineries. We knew virtually nothing about wine, but after several years and a few good friends in the industry, we found ourselves really enjoying our tasting experiences. And we started to take for granted just how easy it was to sample wines, but then we moved to North Idaho. So a friend recently recommended Bright Cellars to us, and we've been having a lot of fun with their subscription box. We started by taking a seven question quiz intended to categorize our tasting preferences. Then they sent the wine directly to us. Each box comes with wine education cards that outlines tasting notes, suggested pairings, and serving tips. And the best part is their satisfaction guarantee. We get to rate each wine in our box and their concierge team takes that into account before they send the next shipment. It's like a personal wine shopper for somebody who enjoys wine but doesn't want to spend the time to figure it all out. It's the season of giving, so gift yourself and maybe your wife a Bright Cellars subscription box. And right now they're extending a special offer to our followers. $50 off your first six bottle box and $20 off your second. So head to the link in the description below to get started today. And thanks again to Bright Sellers for sponsoring this video and our date nights. These mornings just keep getting colder and I'm getting more and more bundled up, but the snow is holding off and we're making great progress on this deck project. I think we're gonna pull this off. So last night after it got dark, we managed to get the rest of the joists up in this first part of the deck. Right here in the second area, it works a little bit differently because our staircase is actually gonna go from right here off this concrete pad at the entryway up between these posts to there. So there's a gap in here 
where there is no decking to make room for the staircase. Courtney's actually upstairs editing right up there and I'm just plugging away at projects that I can do by myself to keep making progress on this deck project. Okay, got it. Oh no, I don't have it. Okay, got it. All right, one more piece down. I think that I'm gonna come back through and add some hurricane clips just like I used over here to those joists to make sure that they're well secured to that beam, but I'm out of hurricane clips. So I added them to my shopping list and we'll go ahead and get those added. But for now, everything's attached well enough that we can keep making progress without having to run to the store. So six more joists to go, but I'm gonna need Courtney to come out and stain them because I'm not qualified to stain anything. Cody called down to me and said that she's almost done with the video, but that it's pretty cold up there. So I'm gonna go bring some firewood up to her and check out her progress. With our limited daylight yesterday, I thought I would just push through and just work all the daylight hours because you know, after all, I was gonna be quitting early. I ended up so cold and so grumpy that I was not having fun. So my plan for today is to come up here, warm up by the wood stove, make some hot chocolate, take a few breaks, and then keep working. I think it's gonna work out a lot better for me. Although I'm not sure that Courtney would agree that the distraction is good for her. An elusive creature emerges from the editing dungeon. What are you up to? Staining boards, still. Is this the wrong time to tell you that you also have to stain some blocking? Ah, uh, that's fine. I'm very appreciative of Courtney doing all the staining for me because otherwise I wouldn't stain it and then we'd be trying to stain it later like after all the decking's on and that would be so much more difficult. We're almost there. We've got all but the last six joists up. And then we have some blocking to do down the center and it's ready for deck boards. All right, you guys, we have one and a half more days until our next snowstorm is predicted, and we're ready to move on to probably the step I'm the most excited about. I got all the blocking done, all the hangers screwed in, all the hurricane ties on, and I think it's time to turn our deck into a deck. And I'm done staining because we are actually using composite decking, which means no more staining. We're just gonna put these down and then our deck's a deck. Riley actually went and bought this decking without me and the way they packaged it, I haven't seen it yet. So I have no idea what it looks like. Let's open it up. And I picked it out based on what they had enough of in stock. <laughs> Ooh. Purple, that's not right. <laughs> I think that's gonna look amazing. I love the colors. Matches our yeah. building very it, well. It's awesome. Okay, how do we build the deck? Oh, I don't know. This is as far as I've gotten. Might have to get over my fear of heights and just learn how to climb around up there. I'm gonna send you up with Riley. Ready? First glimpse of the view from the deck. Is it good? Oh, you're the view. <laughs> wow. All right, so the deck boards are gonna be running perpendicular to the joists like this, but right here on this edge, we're gonna have one that runs this way. It's called picture framing and it finishes off the edge so we don't have to have a fascia board. Uh, hello. Welcome to my deck. Wow. It's pretty nice up here, huh? This is gonna be so awesome. This is a little scary. You're just going for it? I'm going for it. Okay. Oh my gosh, you're making me nervous. Me too. I'm just... 
Do you remember the time that we climbed that window framed opening over there and saw our view for the first time out of our apartment? Yeah, I do. That was pretty awesome. And it's like, it's even better out here. Hey, okay, moment of truth. Does it fit? Well, that's the idea anyways. That looks amazing. One board cut. Stand by. It is very difficult filming this. So maybe we're just going to put these on and we'll check back with you guys. Okay, Riley's a trooper and he got all of the picture framing on the perimeter done, which means we can start laying deck boards. That's a really big deal because we'll be able to build him a platform that then he can work way more safely off of to do the rest of the deck. The terrifying part was that because the sealer's not really cured yet, it was also really slippery up there. So things are about to get a lot better, but first we need to get some of the material up there so that we can start laying it. We thought about lifting this whole pile up with the excavator, but then the whole pile would end up in our way. I think it's going to be better just to slide them up one at a time. All right, guys, here we go. So we're going to be using these concealed fastener clips that slide into this groove on the side of the Trex board. But since there's no groove on this first board, we can't do that yet. I'm gonna be using these as spacers to make sure that the gap between the boards looks the same all the way across the deck for now. I think we're finally starting to get the hang of this, but unfortunately we are also losing our daylight very quickly. So we're gonna to try to get this row wrapped up Call that good for tonight, and then we're gonna have to get up early tomorrow and try to get as much of this done before we can, before the snow falls. I think it's supposed to start snowing around 2 p.m., so we'll see. Good morning, guys. It's a new day, and the great news is that it is way warmer today than it has been the past mornings. The bad news is because that's because there's a snowstorm coming in. The winter storm warning starts at 3 p.m. this afternoon, and we're gonna try to get as much of this deck done as we can before the snow falls. Last night, it seems like we came up with kind of a system, and I'm hoping that this goes a little smoother today. <laughs> okay, up we go. The great news is that Riley was able to get a much safer working platform, because now he has four sets of planks that are screwed down and very stable to walk on. Okay, I'm coming up. All right, this is Courtney's first time on the new deck. Wow. It's pretty cool up here, huh? This is awesome. Do you feel safe? Um, not around you. <laughs> I feel like it just takes one hip check and you're gonna send me off this thing. I don't blame her. I think with Courtney's help up here, it's gonna go a lot faster and we finally have sort of an area to work off of. So let's get going. I think it just started snowing. It definitely just started snowing. <laughs> It's getting colder. <laughs> I'm bundling up. <laughs> I don't recommend doing that on a deck with no railing. Yeah. So we're gonna make sure that we don't have any sort of like bow rainbow going on. So I'm gonna hold it in the center of the groove. Holding it tight? Yep. Wow. Looks perfect. Perfect. Awesome. I think I might've jinxed it when I said we were gonna get this done before the snow. The snow is now sticking to things, but I think we're gonna keep pushing on. We are really close to being able to getting all this decking on, and that would be really nice before it actually snows tonight a lot. But we are hungry and we are cold, so I'm gonna go in and make some hot chocolate and some quesadillas. Riley doesn't wanna stop because then he says it's gonna be hard to keep working again, so I'm gonna bring them out to him and we're gonna keep pushing through. Okay, I'm going into the apartment for the first time. Careful. <laughs> Okay, 
stand by. I'll be back. Let's see if I cannot drop these. Delivery! Oh, thank you. <laughs> Probably really hot. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, that actually works really well. Just except for where I've stepped. It's been a long day, but I cannot believe how much of this deck we've gotten done. It's like actually snowing now. <laughs> Are we crazy? Yeah, we're crazy. It's so pretty though. Meanwhile, Boondog, not a care in the world. It's like they, it feels like they haven't even noticed that we're here yet. <laughs> All right, that's it. We're calling it. It's been a long, cold day, but it's been a lot of fun, honestly. Like, it, working out in the snow can either be miserable or it can be fun. And today it was fun because we made a lot of progress. We were working well together. We built a deck. We still have a few more boards to do here. One really complicated cut board to do here that we just couldn't see well enough to get done. And another 10 or so down there. So... I would say another four or five hours and we'll be done with this phase of the deck and uh, probably done with the deck for winter. Well, clearing the snow off the deck just once already confirmed that the roof extension that we're going to be adding is going to be well worth it. Um, I think I've got it all cleared off enough that we can keep working. At first I was a little bit frustrated that we didn't get the deck done before it snowed, but then I kind of put it in perspective and I'm just thankful that we got the deck as done as we did before it snowed because this would have been so difficult to do everything we've already done. We held off on doing this cut last night because it's the most difficult one of the entire deck and we couldn't see. So hopefully in the daylight, in the not snow, it'll be a little bit easier to see to do this one. Okay, moment of truth. Yeah, it does it fit. You sound skeptical. Do it again because it's not oh, even close. Gosh. Ah! Oh. <laughs> but why did I do that? I know, right? I like. Uh... Alrighty. Okay. Wow. All right. That <laughs> is beautiful. What are you doing? I've been waiting a year to do this. Are you washing the windows? the deck is completely done. Minus the railing and the cover <laughs> and the stairs, but I think this is as done as it's gonna be for a while because now with winter here, it's time to move on to some inside projects. We had something that we have been really, really waiting for arrive yesterday, and the next video is gonna be about installing that, and it is gonna be a complete game changer for us. Stay tuned, it's gonna be an awesome episode. We'll come back to the deck when we have another good break in weather, and so thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs>